We're here at conclusion of stage two of Tour de Beauce, uh, talking with Hugo Houle from Team Canada, who's just finished third on the Mont Megantic stage, generally considered to be the hardest stage of, uh, of Beauce. Uh, Hugo, um, the, the race had that break that went away, quite a large break, and uh, were you concerned the yellow jersey was in there as well? I mean, I was not concerned uh, because we had a good, uh, good guy up there, Ryan Anderson and uh, two other guys. So we had three guys up there. Uh, I made the call to not go when it went because I saw that uh, I had a few guys around me that uh, were more into trouble than uh, me. And uh, because everybody look at me, if I go across and then I bring everybody back and kind of cancel a good move for us. Uh, so yeah, I chose to then go. And uh, after that, Silver realized uh, they were in trouble and Lumpus also. So they had to uh, assume the chase all day long. Uh, it was a really fast stage. Uh, they had to roll really hard to get back on those guys. We had a, we had a good good start also. And uh, at the end, we catch a group just before the, the bottom of the climb. So uh, I saw, I know that uh, it was my time to do my job. Uh, Randy did a big job. The team did a big job for me. And uh, I came here. Uh, by saying I want to win the GC and uh, I had to respond today to get some time on the other because we lost on the first stage and uh, I think I'd <laughs> just give everything I had in the climb and try to be as smart as I could and uh, yeah I'm pretty happy. Yeah I mean uh, that last climb um, there was obviously a few members of the breakaway left and then tell me about I mean you you obviously came up with uh, Sepp Kuss uh, how, how did the last couple of kilometers uh, play out? I mean, uh, the guy from Riley was really strong. Uh, when I put my hat back with 1K to go, uh, it was right in my wheels. And after that, he didn't want to pull too much, uh, what is normal, because he was going for the stage. And I, d I didn't really ask myself. So I just rode as hard as I can to gain some time on the other guy, because I saw I was getting some time. And uh, honestly, he was really, really strong and pretty impressive on the last 500 meter when he went. I couldn't respond. And, uh, and just give everything I could to uh, bring back the, the two other one, but I was a little bit too close for <laughs> the second place. But at the end of the day, uh, it's a really good day for Cycling Canada, and uh, we'll see tomorrow morning how I can uh, manage to get some more time. Yeah, I mean, you're unofficially, we're told, you're 19 seconds behind uh, the leader, Greg Daniel, um, and then tomorrow, time trial, which is obviously one of the events that, that you are very good at. So do you feel pretty confident that you're going to be able to maybe move up some more? I mean, uh, I spent a lot, of, a lot of energy today on the climb. Uh, it's the same for everybody. Uh, I think I would be able to recover uh, from that. Uh, Greg Daniel is a good rider. We have a lot of good rider here. Uh, I'm, I'm confident on my uh, TT skills. And uh, it's going to be really important for me tomorrow to uh, to do a big one. Uh, it's, it's come down to me. It's myself and I that have the pressure. And uh, we'll see uh, how I can manage to uh, gain that uh, 19 second tomorrow. Well, congratulations and thank you very much. Thank you.